Ever wondered how to make a traditional Bengali sweet at home? Imagine creating chom chom, a delightful dessert that dances on the tongue with its mix of soft cheese dough, sweet syrup, and a hint of cardamom. Begin by gathering your ingredients. For the chom chom itself, you'll need full fat milk, lemon juice or vinegar, sugar, water, saffron strands for an optional touch of luxury, cardamom powder, and some sliced pistachios or almonds for garnish. If you choose to add a filling, prepare grated mawa or shredded coconut, powdered sugar, rose or kira water, and a pinch more of cardamom powder. Start by bringing the milk to a boil in a heavy bottomed pan. As it begins to boil, lower the heat and add lemon juice or vinegar gradually. Stir continuously until the milk curdles, separating into whey and chenna, which are the milk solids. After turning off the heat, let it sit for a few minutes to cool slightly. Next, line a strainer with a muslin cloth or cheesecloth and pour in the curdled milk. Rinse the chenna under cold water to remove any acidic taste from the lemon or vinegar. Tie the cloth and hang it for about 30 minutes to drain excess water. Once drained, knead the chenna on a clean surface until it becomes smooth and soft. Divide and shape this dough into equal size cylindrical or oval portions. Gently press them to flatten slightly. In a large pan, combine sugar and water and bring to a boil, dissolving the sugar. Add saffron and cardamom powder. Place the chom chom pieces into this boiling sugar syrup. Cook them on medium heat for 15 to 20 minutes, flipping occasionally. They will become soft, spongy and increase slightly in size. After cooking, allow them to cool in the syrup. For those adding a filling, Mix the grated mawa or shredded coconut with powdered sugar, cardamom powder, and a few drops of rose or kira water. Once the chom chom pieces are cool, gently make a slit in each one, careful not to cut all the way through, and fill with the mawa or coconut mixture. Garnish each piece with sliced pistachios or almonds, then chill in the refrigerator for at least one to two hours before serving. This chilling process allows the flavors to melt beautifully. There you have it! Homemade chom chom, ready to enchant and delight. Whether as a treat for yourself or a surprise for guests, this sweet marvel is sure to impress. Try making it at home and share your experiences in the comments. How did your chom chom turn out? What personal touches did you add? Your journey in the kitchen can inspire others, so do share your story. Enjoy the sweet adventure.